and load. So we are back. And this time we have same Lenovo Legion 5. Uh, remember the video with the, uh, you know, short atmosphere, but still good GPU. Now, after uh, I ended the, the video and I start editing, I realized, wait. So the customer said he was using the laptop on the battery because that's what he said. The battery was like 50%. Realistic speaking, how many amps this battery can have? Like uh, we have five amps battery with 17 volts, which is around 80 watts. Now you compare 80 watts power provided by the battery with 300 watts from the charger, it's quite a big difference. I mean, that's the reason, that's what I believe this is the reason why we still have a good GPU. Now remember the video I asked you if, you know what, the original chip doesn't have a D at the end, but the one I found it, Mouser, uh, has a D at the end. So what is the difference? And I got a lot of answers, and I want to thank you for everyone which answered on the chat regarding my question. Now, I seen there's some uh, delusional comments, but also I seen some clever people figure it out, probably they did some extensive research and figure it out what D means. D comes from duck. And also D can come from Doji. That's the right answer. So I ordered the chip. So we have here the chip. Of course, I'm just joking. But it makes sense, yeah? The people, that's the chip. Let's go under the microscope. Let's prime the chip with some solder. So this is the chip and has a D at the end, yeah? Duck, Doji before we are apply, applying solder i want to do something special so we'll take the chip yeah you pay attention right hot air mm -hmm. and we have a secret product here which i can't speak about yet yeah that's all we're all gonna speak soon about this now we can try to apply some solder on this chip. Perfect. Let's see. Yeah, we need some solder here. Then we need some solder here. Perfect. Then some solder here. And I think we are ready to solder this chip back. Now the chip is on place. Hot air. Remember, we need a lot, a lot of heat here. Good. Well, like four hundred eighty degrees. And it's not easy, even with 480, yeah, we need more air. I forgot about the air, 60% air.
perfect. Let's grab the solder. Now let's wait for the board to cool down. And after that, we have to check if indeed the MOSFET is working. So how we can check that? Well, to check if an electronic component is working, you just, you know, insert a ammeter on the serial mode with the, con with, the, with the tested component, and you can see the current flowing through that component. The problem is we can't do something like that here. So all what we can do, we can try to use the thermal camera and uh, based on the thermal signature, we can figure it out if it's working or not. The only problem is I cannot put the, the, the heat sink because I can't see the MOSFET. Huh? We can't use this. So we have to use some dodgy heat sink over the CPU and GPU. And after that, try to figure it out if uh, the MOSFET is working or not. Okay, so what I'm going to do first, I want to see if my MOSFET is good. So I'm going to switch to 19. Okay, so with 19 volts at the input, with the power supply, it's taking like 30 milliamps. So I believe we are fine regarding uh, our MOSFET. Now let's use some thermal pad over the CPU, some thermal pad over the GPU, good. And I'm going to plug the battery and I'm going to check with the battery. The battery is plugged in. Pressing the power button. The laptop is on. We have picture. Check there, you can see my, uh, my MOSFET working. So we replace this one. You can see it? So check that every MOSFET is working. You can see? Ah, huh? that's how you test. That's how you test. Yeah, of course the laptop is working. Of course it's working. Beautiful. Okay, now something else. Yeah, those, yeah, are quite warm. Now I seen there, it's a trend, yeah? I don't know from where this trend start because, uh, I mean, probably there are some special thermal paste. But it's not the first time when I'm hearing, sorry, this is not dry thermal paste, actually it's some special thermal paste. So we have 480 degrees, yeah? And they said, no, when it's coming hot, it's getting, uh, you know, uh, liquid. 480 degrees, right? Check here. It's hard. You know what I mean? This is a dry thermal paste. Nothing. I'm just, you know, I'm just trying to bring this on point because, uh, I mean, I don't want the people to stop replacing the thermal paste because, uh, you know, they think, okay, this is not dry, actually, it's on special thermal paste. No, it's just a basic thermal paste we got dry over the time. And you can also see, you can see on the middle, you can see the how the heat affects the thermal paste, yeah? Even on the CPU. I'm just saying, yeah? So let me replace the thermal paste quickly. Okay, so we can see here everything is fine. I start a render test and the GPU is working great. Yeah, we don't have yellow sign on the GPU. Everything is good. RTX 3070. Because some people said, hey, sorry, this didn't die because it's MD. No, the GPU is RTX 3070. Good? Yeah, slightly warm. Perfect. Yeah, I have to clean the fans and that's all. Okay, so I'm going to stop now. 
I will say thank you for watching. Thank you to everyone which answered on chat. And uh, see you on the next one. Yeah, probably. Yeah. Bye.